Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a shop my stash. I'm super excited for this one. I am ready to rotate all of these items out. Um, if you like shop my stash videos, please make sure to give this one a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now let's go ahead and get into the products I had in here from the last time around. Uh, I'm going to go through them, tell you my thoughts, and then we'll shop my stash for new items to use for the upcoming couple weeks. I'm going to go ahead and get started with primers. Uh, I had two primers in here from last time. I had one by Milani. This is the supercharged Dewey primer. I have enjoyed this quite a bit, actually. Really happy to have that in my collection. And then the other primer I had in here is uh, this uh, UV Makeup Base by Muji. Um, it is an SPF 27. It was an okay product, but I just did not like the way it felt on my skin. I felt like maybe a little bit too greasy. It had a little bit of that silicone feeling that I'm not a big fan of. Uh, I think that this is something that is going to be leaving my collection, actually. Um, it's going to go into like my potential declutter. Uh, I, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. Um, I did have a uh, bronzing drops or like an all over glow product. That's how I used it. Uh, this is by Say, and this is the glowy super gel in the shade Sun Glow. I use it all over my skin, kind of like a bronzing product, highlighting. And then I went in with my foundation. I really enjoy it. I really like the texture of it. So that I'm going to pull out. I had three foundations in here. The first one is this uh, Fenty Beauty. This is the Soft Lit. Wow, I can't read that. Naturally Luminous. Um, and I have it in the shade 230. Really, really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful foundation. Uh, yeah, I was so happy to be playing with this one. I like it a lot. And then I had the other two. One is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. And this is in the shade 2N. Um, I'm actually wearing this today. It's so pretty on the skin. Um, really happy to have it as well. And then the last foundation was put in here with the uh, mixing drops. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place foundation. Um, and I had the blue drops because this is a little bit too warm for me. This is in the shade 2W1 Dawn. To be honest, I didn't choose it. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and pull it out though because uh, yeah, no, I don't have the time to be mixing it. Uh, I don't know what the situation is going to be with this guy, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. All right, for concealers, I remember I had these two and then I put this one in. I'm trying to finish it alongside this one. So let's talk about these two. I have the Kofi Main Match Concealer, and this is in the shade Coco Crush. I love this concealer. Um, again, I'm trying to finish it this year. And I have the Iris and Romeo best skin days treatment concealer and this is in the shade four i love this concealer it looks a little funky but it's so pretty on the skin it's very hydrating uh i would say it's a medium coverage i don't get a full coverage from this one uh, i've been trying to like use it more as a foundation and i love it as a foundation as well uh i want to try to finish it like both of these um my goal is to finish them. So these are going to stay in the rotation, but we'll go ahead and pull in maybe one more concealer. Um, the other one I had in here was the Pacifica Dream Lit Glow Concealer and Corrector. This is in the shade, whoa, nine. Uh, a little bit too light for me, um, but it is a nice concealer. Reminds me quite a bit. The formula wise reminds me of the uh, NARS Radiant Creamy. It's not as creamy as that one. I feel like um, it's just not quite the same. Could be the fact that it's a little bit lighter, so I didn't use um, a normal amount that I would use, and I used it more like a highlighting. Um, it's a nice one. I would recommend. Uh, I just, I wish I had a little bit deeper shade. It's not a whole lot of product in here. Um, I haven't used it that much, and I feel like there's a gap. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Let's go ahead and move along to powders for powders. I had a couple in here. <laughs> uh, I had two setting powders, the RMS Beauty uh, Hydrating Hydra Setting Powder. This is in the shade Light. It's a really nice powder. I enjoyed it. And the same with Nikia Joy. I love, 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 love this powder. This is the Velvet Finishing Powder. Um, <laughs> I use it the most. We'll just say that. It's one of my favorite powders, if not my favorite. So I'm pulling both of these out. 
I had one setting powder. Um, I had the Dior Backstage um, Face and Body Powder. This is in the shade 2N. Um, I feel like this is so hard pressed. It's very light on the skin. Um, it, it's kind of hard to pick up with a, with a uh, powder brush, but it's really, really nice. Oh, I say that. I feel like maybe I just worked through the layer that was a little bit hard. Uh, I do really like it. I am going to go ahead and pull it out. For a illuminating powder or a finishing powder, I have the Chantecaille Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. This is so pretty. It was a really beautiful um, blurring powder, finishing powder. And then the last one I had in here was the Guerlain uh, Meteorites. And this is in the shade 3 Medium. It's another stunning finishing powder. I really love the smell of this thing too. It's very... Uh, I don't know. It's it reminds me of my childhood for some reason. I don't know why. I'm pulling that out. Um, I think everything's getting pulled out. I don't think I'm going to keep anything in here for next time. Um, let's move on to bronzers. For bronzers, I had two cream um, and then a couple powders. The cream ones I had in here, one is the Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Souffle. Melting bronzing and sculpting stick. Oh, sorry. The shade is chocolate souffle. Uh, really pretty. Like I was impressed by this guy. Really enjoyed it on my skin. It blends like a dream. Uh, super creamy. The shade is really, really nice. My issue with it, can't twist it back down easily. I would have to like either keep it um, twisted up or I'll have to like give it a gentle you know, push. I don't like that. And then the uh, other one I had is actually a contour stylus um, by Victoria Beckham. This is the Sculpt and Detail, and I have it in the shade Maple. Maple. Marble. Marble, Maple. Same thing. It starts with an M. It has an L. Maple, Marble. You know. Um, uh, with this guy. I think that the shade is a little bit too deep for me. Um, a little bit of this one, again, goes a very long way. I don't do a lot of precise contouring. I did use it on my nose and like uh, below and upper my lip. A very little bit goes a very long way. So it's like this is a lifetime if that's the only way I use it. I have used it a little bit to kind of like sculpt my cheeks. But I don't know. I'm not very experienced at doing that. So I felt like it didn't look very um it just didn't look right on me i don't know i'll keep playing with it of course and you know using it but at this time this is a lifetime a lifetime of product all right the other bronzers i had um the creams we'll start with the hermes uh this is in the shade 03 sahara this is a stunning bronzer I love it. I have been reaching for it quite often. I feel like I kind of made a little bit of a dent already in here. Such a beautiful bronzer, stunning on the skin. Uh, the formula is really nice, blends super easily. The shade is really, really nice. If I don't want it to be a little bit too dark, I can move all over a little bit over here. Um, it has like that natural, beautiful glow. It's not like a glowy product, a golden, like it's not like a highlighting product but it has a really beautiful glow on the skin. Um, really loving it. Uh, I'm gonna give myself the pass to reach for it <laughs> when I want to. A couple more bronzers, I think just these two. I think I had a third in here and I decided that I didn't really like it or something like that, I don't remember. Um, but I have the Becca, this is the Sunlit Bronzer and the shade is Capri Coast. I lip and love this bronzer too i am so happy that um i was able to snag the backup actually my friend mariella was the one who saw it at tg maxx when uh, becca was going out of business and she's like isn't the one you want it yeah this is so beautiful uh see this has more glow to it than the hermes like you can see it in the product itself and like when i apply it on my skin it's not like that natural from within radiant glow it's like okay i have glow i have makeup on but it's so pretty and it looks really nice on so i i love it and then the other bronzer in here was the dior forever 
this is in the shade warm bronze a really nice bronzer like a solid bronzer nothing extra crazy that i'm like okay yeah you need it kind of like the hermes or if the becca is still around it's an okay bronzer it's good um it does the job and pretty packaging <laughs> Alrighty, for blushes, I also had some cream blushes and then some powders. The two creams I had in here, uh, one is actually the liquid blush, the Unreal Liquid Blush from Hourglass, and this is in the shade Whim. So pretty, loved it. And then the other one is by House Labs, and this is the Glassy Rosette Blush. <laughs> Wait till you see. I used like i use this baby i loved it super easy to blend um it does feel a little bit tacky applying it but it's not like it stays tacky i do apply a, a powder a blush on top of it um anyways but the glow and like the healthy glow that this gives it's beautiful i am gonna go ahead and pull it out and then for powder blushes we had quite a few we had the charlotte tilbury chic to chic swish and glow blusher in the shade is pillow top did use the crap out of this guy this time around it's really nice i i feel like this is a neutral blush that i can just reach for and be okay uh i know it's gonna look good it's not gonna be overdone or anything like that it does have the highlighter in here so i don't technically need to pull in a different highlighter a beautiful blush i i enjoy it all right, I had a couple more. Let's talk about the Makeup Forever Artist Blush. This is in the shade B250 Daring Candy. Oh my God, this is so pretty. A little bit goes a very long way. So I'd pick it up with my brush, tap it on the back of my hand a little bit to kind of like get it in the brush because otherwise, like if I'm going to dip my brush really hard in here, I'm going to pick up too much. But oh, it looks so pretty on the skin and i have another product that i picked up the other day not that long ago actually i, I do want to do a comparison of the two um so we're gonna pull that one in i'm gonna keep this to the side because i want to compare the two shades i have a feeling they're very very similar uh we have the buxom wanderlust primer infused blush in here in the shade mykonos it's a nice blush um it's an okay uh, would I miss it if it's not in my collection? Probably not. Um, so I don't know. This is something I haven't done my uh, blush declutter yet. I don't know what's going to be staying <laughs> or what's going to be going. That's I'm intimidated to do that one. It's an intimidating declutter to do, but I need to do it. So I don't know. This one, mm, for now, it's staying. Um, two more blushes. We have the Rare Beauty Powder Blush in the shade is Joy. I'm wearing this one today. It is so pretty. I love it. I love the glow that I get from these blushes. Happy to have it. And the last blush I had was the Chanel. This is the Fantasy de Chanel. I don't know if there's a shade name. Is there a shade name? I'm not sure. Oh, I love this thing. It's so pretty. You can see like I pretty much destroyed on the top. Uh, it's so pretty. It's a beautiful, glowy, pinkish blush. I don't need a highlighter with this one for sure. I don't need the highlighter, um, but the blush is so pretty. I'm working through that uh, glowy layer up on top and like reaching for the highlighter. I try to keep it down here, you know, so I'm concentrating on my brush up here. It's so pretty. Uh, it's so, so pretty. So it's a limited edition, unfortunately. All right, let's move on to highlighters. For highlighters, I had a ton. I had the Makeup by Mario Soft Glow Highlighter in the shade is Honey. Um, <laughs> I use it a couple times, and every time I use it, I'm like, it looks too golden on me, too gold. Like, I can see the gold, um, like, the stripe on my skin kind of thing. I think it's because I have basically zero tan um if i was a little bit tanner it would blend in a little bit better um but i like the formula it, the shade is really really pretty too uh i had the anastasia beverly hills this is the amrezi highlighter this is so pretty again i had to go very light-handed with this one but it's stunning um i had the dior this is the forever um 
Intense Highlighting Powder in the shade is 03 Pearlescent Color. I love this thing. I really, really do. <laughs> I love that um, it doesn't basically have a base. It's just like a, a beautiful glow on top. It, this one has a little bit more of a base than the uh, Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb one does. Um, it's so pretty on the skin. I took this with me to Vegas. It was just like the perfect Vegas highlighter. So pretty. I love it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, from Nabla, I had the Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder in the shade is Privileged. Really, really pretty. Again, I try to concentrate my brushes. I don't know why. I like not, I don't want to ruin the shape of my products. <laughs> so you can see it was all in here. Uh, really pretty highlighter. I enjoyed it. And then we had the Bare Minerals highlighter in the shade is free. It's a good highlighter. Um, it has uh, a lot of pigmentation. Could be a little bit blinding, um, but it is really pretty on the skin. And then finally, I have Capri from NARS. Uh, I wasn't sure if this is something I was going to keep in my collection or if I'm going to declutter it. Uh, it diffused really, really nicely on my skin. I just think that this shade is a little bit too icy for me. Um, but if I blend it and like work it into my skin, it looks like a very natural highlight. So I think it's going to stay for now. That's another declutter I'm intimidated to do. And then finally, for a liquid highlighter, I have the Forever Glow Maximizer, and this is in the shade Peachy. Beautiful highlighter. Super easy to use. I do enjoy it a lot. All right. Uh, moving on to the eyes, I have three single products. I am going to go ahead and declutter the Sephora Colorful Sequins Effect, and this is in the shade Glitter Fever. Not because I didn't like it, but because it uh, it is does have like glitters particles in it, um, and then it's so gorgeous though. I wish I wish I could handle the glitter a little bit better on my eyes, but it really irritated my eyes, and I got like a you know I got uh, like it really irritated my eyes, and for like four or five days afterwards, I wasn't able to wear makeup. Um, and I think it's the glitter particles in here. I think I was able to finally nail it down to what was bothering my eyes. A different eye than the one I had before. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. Sad because it's a gorgeous product. I just wish the glitters were not actual chunk glitters. All right. The other two uh, singles, I had the Marc Jacobs. This is the uh, Topaz Flash sequins something this is so pretty i love this thing it's a gorgeous product like this doesn't have chunks of glitter um but it has that effect on the eyes really pretty and then i had the laura mercier uh, caviar stick and this is in the shade amethyst this was a really pretty one and done shade uh all over the lid and then i just buffed it into my crease a little bit really pretty these things last forever too so much product in there um for eyeshadow palettes i'm so ready to rotate you guys i'm itching to rotate Ooh, felt like that almost took a tumble over there i have the blushing berries by dose of color <laughs> I, I love this palette every time i think like ah, i'm gonna declutter this but no i just can't part with it i love it i love the black that's in here I love these shades. It's so pretty. I'm definitely going to be holding on to that. I have Huda Rose Quartz eyeshadow palette. I reached for this one more than I thought I was going to. It's so pretty. It's very girly. Um, beautiful palette. All right. I have the Wonder Beauty. This is the Trailblazer eyeshadow palette. This was really nice too. I did enjoy the looks I created with it. Enjoyed it. And then I had the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Barely Basic Eyeshadow Palette. Ooh, this was so pretty, you guys. Um, I think I used pretty much all of the shades in here except these two. It's so pretty. <laughs> I love the looks I created with it. These, uh, their duo chromes or multi chromes are stunning. Their shimmers are stunning. Really pretty. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. It's very fall-ish. But I am going to go ahead and pull it out. 
And then we had the Flower Beauty Desert Lights. I just reached for these um, occasionally when I wanted just a little bit more shimmer. I think the only one I didn't use was this shade in here, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, the formula is amazing and the price is just great. And then finally, I had the uh, Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction. I, I love this palette. It's so pretty, you guys. It really is super pretty. Um, I think I reached for pretty much everything in here. Uh, it's a beautiful palette. Stunning. All right. Um, and finally... We have lippies and setting sprays. I did have the two setting sprays in here. I had the Milani Make It Last. It's not a whole lot left in here, so I'm going to keep it and try to finish it pretty soon. And then I had the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. This was a decent one. Um, it did set my skin pretty nicely. Um, it, it did leave a little bit of a glow, which I don't really mind, so it's not like a mattifying setting spray. It works. It does the job. I'm going to keep it and just use it up. I could always use up setting sprays unless I absolutely hate them or hate the nozzle or anything like that. Otherwise, I do use them. Um, for lippies, I don't know if this was everything because I've been putting stuff in my purses and then taking them out. And I've been playing with my lippies, trying to enjoy my lippies, not just like what I pull in, but more from my actual collection. So all of these got used and I really loved all of them. So let's go through them all. We have the About Face lip liner in the shade False, what is it? False Alarm. I had the Makeup Forever. This is in the shade, what is it? Anywhere Caffeine, really pretty. Both of these are really pretty liners and they went really well with the lippies I had in here. Um, I had the M Cosmetic, not M, RMS. This is uh, in the shade Eve. This is like one of their matte nudies thing. Really pretty. Can't twist it back down, so I had to be very careful. From Maybelline, I had the Superstay in the shade Enjoy the View. It just smells amazing on the lips. Like, it smells so good. And then it's a beautiful color, too. Good formula. Um, I had this lip oil by Kulfi. I don't know if this was in here from last time around or not, but I can't stop using this thing. This is in the shade Rose. I'm definitely going to pick up the shade Caramel from uh, during the uh, Sephora sale. It's so pretty. feels so good on the lips. Uh, the glow that it has and then when it sets and like the stain that it leaves, really nice product. Uh, I had, I'm pretty sure I had more products than these because it can't, it can't just be this. Um, I had the Pat McGrath lip gloss in the shade Divine Rose. Really pretty. I had the Kaja glass shot. This is in the shade Honey Drizzle. Really nice. I had the Lancome. This is, my goodness, I can't even see that. Um, lip Idol and this is in the shade 36. It was a really nice creamy lippy really nice shade too i had the uh fenty uh beauty this is heat in the shade hot cherry really liked it lip oil that i had in here by amy Cole. oh my god i love this thing and this is in the shade smitten i love this lip oil this is like the richest lip oil you can get your hands on it is so hydrating, it is so glossy, and it doesn't fade in like an hour. Like it will last and last and last. Beautiful lip oil. Highly, highly recommend. Again, this is something I'm eyeing uh, another one during the Sephora sale. And then I had the uh, MAC Jar of Stars bullet lipstick in here. Um, enjoyed it. Didn't use it as much as I used the other products, but I would at least use it when i do my makeup and throughout the day i'm free to use whatever else i wanted kind of thing all right this is everything that was in here there's nothing really new nothing really exciting about mascaras and all of that um i'm gonna go ahead and clean up my desk and then let's go ahead and shop my stash for newer items to use all right we're gonna go ahead and get started with the new makeup drawer i have a couple new things in here that i haven't shared with you guys yet but i do want to pull in uh, the first one is this Patrick Ta Barbie collab, the blush, the duo blush, and the 
uh, lip plumper. I cannot wait. And this is the one that I think is going to be uh, very close to the Makeup Forever candy shade. Candy darling, darling candy. So I'm pulling that out. Let me zoom you out a bit. All right. Hopefully now we can see a little bit more in here. I am going to go ahead and pull in the Chanel powder. Um, I actually use it today. And that's like when, when I reached for makeup other than the stuff in my door, I was like, okay, it's time for a refresh. Um, I used it today. I do want to pull it in, play with it some more. So far, so good. Um, and I have the shade 30. So I'm pulling this one in too. Um, let's go ahead. I did pick up a couple of these uh, KVD shadow sticks. What are they called exactly? Uh, Dazzle sticks. During the Ulta sale, I got three shades, Flash Storm, Hail Surge, and what the heck? Oh my gosh, I can't read it. I cannot read it for the life of me. Dust Crush? Um, I don't know which ones I'm going to pull in. How about we just play with all three? You know, why not? The Shadow Sticks. So, um, and like always, I'm going to be doing swatches at the end when I put everything back into the drawer. I have a lot of lippies in here. I'm going to start pulling a few of these. Um, I do know that I'm going to pull in one more single shade. This is by Kulfi. This is the shade Sona Sona. Uh, when I was in Vegas, I went and saw my friend Mariella. We went to Sephora and then we got the shade. Um, <laughs> swatched it in stores like, okay, we absolutely need this thing. So we each got one. Like, you know, those are good together. Um, I've swatched it, but I haven't played with it on my eyes yet. So I do want to pull this one in. Okay. Uh, lippies. Oh my goodness. I have some blushes. I have liquid blush. I have the blurry blush from Cali Ray. Uh, this is in the shade Dream State. Um, I got one of the Trend Mood boxes, the, the recent one, the one that had the K18 in it. I do use K18 and it was just a good deal. Just buy the, buy the box, get the K18 and then everything else. It was still cheaper than buying K18 from the store. Anyway, this came in there and this is in the shade Dream State. So I do want to play with it. I've heard good things about this one. Um, and then it came with one of the uh, Tower 28 lip glosses. This is in the shade Fire. I haven't had the shade before and I kind of missed the formula. So I'm going to pull these in. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull in the blush that came in the uh, Sephora Favorites set. This is the Yummy Skin Blush from Vanessa Myricks and this is in the shade Rosé and Brunch. It came with three different blushes. This is one of them. And then it came with the Lawless cream blush in the shade angel and the refi lip cheek thing and this is in the shade wine this is a pretty one too i like that one. i'm gonna stick with this guy what else do we want to pull in from here uh lippies quite a bit of lippies because well i have a ton in here um let's see Let's go ahead and pull in. I do really want to try the Persona lip balms. Uh, this is in the shade June. I had picked up two shades. I don't know. Where is my other one? Um, this is the Day Mask. So I'm going to pull this one in. Let's do this little tiny one from Summer Friday. This would be perfect to sit in my purse. What shade is this? What shade? What shade are you? Iced coffee. Yay! And then let's do, all right, let's do the Kiko Milano and then we'll do one of the Pura Puras. I bought two more Pura Puras, actually one more from the Amazon sale. Um, this is shade 12. I ordered the shade 13. Uh, I think I'll stick to shade 12. And I think that is it from here for now. Um, let's leave some stuff for next time around. Definitely have not been shopping too much makeup, thank God, um, but I have here and there. Uh, let's move on. I really want to pull in some eyeshadow palettes. I'm feeling all neutrals ready, so I'm going to pull in some eyeshadow palettes, and then we'll move on to skin, like primers, foundations, all that stuff. All right, for eyeshadow palettes, like I said, I'm really feeling fall kind of grungy, uh, neutrals, that kind of stuff. I have a couple in mind. 
we have the Gemini, the first Gemini. Uh, I have the second Gemini. I have Rust and Mary Jane. I think I will pull in, you know, I don't know if I've ever used the second Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics. It's Berry. Remember Berry's but kind of, oh yeah, this would be stunning for this time. I'm going to pull this one in. Just the one from Melt. I think just the one from Melt. Um, let's see. What other palette do we have? How about we do, oh, I Finally, gonna do it. I'm gonna do the ABH Fall Fall Romance. I'm gonna pull this one in. This was gifted to me a, almost a year ago. I need to play with this. And then I'm really feeling this guy. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Essential Palette. I just want something neutral, some beautiful, easy to use neutral shades. So I'm gonna pull this one in. Um. I'm ready to move on to the next color. I'm going to hold on to this because this could be a potential one. Let's move to the next drawer down. All right, let's move on from the next drawer down. How many palettes did I pull? Well, then one, two, three, maybe four. Let's get the NARS one. Can I play with something? Oh. We've got the uh, Natasha Denona, the Sunset Palette. I haven't played with it enough. I think I'm going to pull that one out. The Golden Palette, I used up nothing yet. I think I'm going to do that one right here. So many beautiful things, not enough days to play with them. So many beautiful. What a bummer, huh? I wish, wish we could wear more palettes. Come on. All the time. Um, I think I am. I, I think that's what I have. Good. Oh, we do this one too. Um, so I'm gonna do this guy by Natasha Denona. Uh, let's do the nice. Okay. Don't judge. I have five palettes. One, two, three, four, five palettes. I think it's good. <laughs> I have four single shadows too, so we have enough for this time. Let's get some primers now. Uh, Alrighty, for primers, I just love how this looks. It's not overcrowded. It's just, I love it. For primers, what do we want to play with? Um, how about... Let's do the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, the Hydrating Primer. I'm going to use this guy. And let's do one of uh, the maybe one of the gripping primers by e.l.f. Either the Dew Primer, the Jelly Pop, or which one? The Power Grip or the this is the Power Grip. Let's do these for foundations. Um, I really miss this guy. My Clé de Peur. This is the shade 03 Medium Ochre. It's a really good shade for me right now. I think it would be a really good shade for me right now. So I am going to go ahead and pull this one in. Um, I just want to finish this guy. Um, I didn't realize how little I have in here. So very little. I think I'm going to pull it in and try to finish it this time around. And then I want a third. I know it's kind of crazy. Three foundations. But I do want a third foundation. And I think I'm going to go for either one of these, uh, either the Shiseido Revital Lesson Skin Glow or the Revlon Illuminance. Um, the Shiseido. All right, that's it for foundations. For concealers, I kept the two. I'm really trying to finish them up. So I'm only going to get one more concealer. Uh, how about, how about we pull? Why don't we do the say? I really liked it. 
I haven't played with it in a while. So I think I'm gonna pull this one. Either this one or Natasha Day. Mm. I think I'm gonna do the, the I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Natasha Denona because the other two concealers that I'm trying to finish are radiant and not as full coverage. So I feel like you know this will be a little bit different. This is fuller coverage. Um, this is basically exactly my skin tone. It's a good concealer, so I think I'm gonna. It'll it'll be a good addition to the ones I already have. Basically. Um, and glowy product. We got say or glow. So I'm gonna do Charlotte Tilbury. We're gonna wanna do Dior. Let's do the Dior Forever Glow. This is in the shade Blue. I wish I had the shade gray. Mm. Okay, let's move on to powders. All right, for powders, the craze has been like it's been kind of crazy with all these brightening powders, like the pink ones and all of that. So I am going to pull one in just to remind myself that I don't need them all. I have one and that's all I need. I have actually a couple. I have some loose. I have some pressed. I think I'm going to pull in the pressed one. This is by Pan Make. This is the Marshmallow Finish Powder. What shade? Shade 02, a bloom. So I'm just going to pull it in because I feel like this reminds me of the new Tower 28 powder, which everybody's been raving about. So I'm going to pull it in. I'm going to play with it. I already have one powder, the Chanel one. Um, so I think, let's see. Finally opened a new one of my Hourglass. I haven't used it yet. It's still spanking new. Or we have the Laura Mercier powder. We can do the blue one. This is the Candle Glow powder. This has been used, trust me. I think I'm gonna pull in the shade one. Um, she doesn't have these anymore, which is like, what are you doing? Why? And how about one more loose powder that, you know, just one more, one more loose powder. How about we do, um, I'm going to try the loose powder, the, the one from uh, Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Cherry, Cherry Blossom Cake. Um, just in case that pink one is not enough, I'll have this. And that's it for powders. Alrighty, for setting sprays, I kept the one by Milani because I really think I can finish it. Um, I'm gonna start, I, I need like a way to start rotating through all of these. Uh, how about we do, since we pulled in, kind of luminous foundations, all of them are luminous. Um, I thought I pull in something that's mattifying. Where is it? This this one. This is from Flower Beauty. This is Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray, and this is the matte finish. Perfect. I'll have it all covered. I'm not gonna look overly dewy. This is the one, and then the one from uh, Milani is still going in here. So hear that. Oh, have I been blurry this whole time? Oh, please tell me I haven't been blurry this whole time. You guys could see what I was doing. It's been a really long time since I played with a face palette, so we're gonna do it. This drawer needs a declutter badly, although I can't part with any of them. I think I love face palettes. I don't know why, I just love them. Um, long story, I ordered the new Hourglass Evil Eye Palette on September 19, and till this day, it has not shipped. So I'm kind of like, what the heck? Um, I ordered it from Space NK when I was ordering their advent calendar, and now I'm like, it's out of stock on their website. So I'm gonna have to cancel that order, and I'm gonna have to place the order somewhere else. But for now, like, okay, do I really want that palette now? I'm not so sure how I'm feeling. Um, from here, what do we wanna play with? I want something that has it all. This is Becca Christie collab. This is, this 
What's a thick one? Thicky. People still talk about Chrissy Teigen. I don't know. I'm gonna pull it in because as much as I like it, do I really need it in my collection? Um, Becca's no longer around. I don't know about Chrissy Teigen now. Handle a little while back. I just don't remember what's up, but I'm gonna play with it. It might be a bit dark on me, anyways, so we're gonna pull it. Um, let's move on to bronzers. You know, I'm gonna pull in this uh, trio by Westman Atelier. This I bought these uh, last uh, holiday season from Sephora. I've used them before, but not as much as I want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these in. That kind of covers my cream bronzer, cream blush, and cream highlighter. I might still get one more, but you know, um, let's move on to bronzers. All right, moving on, let's pull in a couple bronzers. I think I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna pull in the YSL. This is in the shade two. Um, All hours hyper bronze. Uh, this was new to me, and I haven't. It as much as I'd like to for the price. So I'm gonna pull that in. I kept the Hermes bronzer, like I was allowing myself to reach for it again. So we have one. Um, how about we pull in? Do we want to pat McGrath bronzers? Bronze Dawn, and we have Anna. I don't even remember which. I think that was the Gucci one. So we're gonna do let's do this one, the divine, uh bronze divine. Oh sorry, bronze dawn. That's the one we're gonna pull in. I keep them in the packaging thinking that hey, well, number one, I really love this packaging, it's gorgeous. And I'm thinking like, hey, I'll be able to tell what the shades are. No, I can't. Ridiculous. Um I want one more bronzer. Um, I think I want to play a little bit more with the Cali Ray the Sun Drip because I didn't use it as much as I used the uh, Miss Victoria one when I first picked it up. So I'm going to pull this one in. And one more powder bronzer. Powder bronzer. Pearl Edward. This one. I'm going to do the Cutie Pie by uh, For blushes, we got quite a bit of creams, so I'm only going to pull in a couple powders. Anyway, the cream blushes are not in here. They don't fit in here. Ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to do powders. I'll pull one from Patrick Ta, and that reminds me. I need to do this. I need to remind myself. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull in one of my Kosas. It's, you know, I played with them when I first got them, but then that's it. So I'm gonna pull in one of these. This is the Hype Blush Life. Oh, sorry, Blush is Life in the shade of Hype. Pull this one in, not Blush in. Let's see. I think I will go ahead and pull in one from Pat and let's pull in a MAC. From Pat McGrath, we've got Paradise Venus, Nude Venus, and Desert Fortress. I'm gonna do Nude Venus. And then from MAC, the one I really wanna play with. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull this one in. I have one, two, four, three, only one more. <laughs> I, I say it like, you know. Only one more. Um, one of the comfort. I don't know why. Have the shade zero five sun bronze. They like me. So pretty. I don't want to go like this. It's gonna be the sun drunk. And 
and the other one that's the cherry blue. Oh, what do I want? Let's go cherry blue. That's what we want. Plastic things and stuff. I don't know. I don't know why I hold on to them. I think they protect my product. Sometimes they damage it. Alright, highlighters. For highlighters, I only have one cream highlighter, so we can pick a few. I try to like put the ones I've used towards the back so I'm not always reaching for the same stuff. It doesn't always work, but I try. Um, love this one by Bobbi Brown. This is um, the Lux Illuminating Powder in the shade Golden Hour. I love this one. That's it. That's quite a nice uh, pan in here. One in. Uh, I do want to pull in one of the matte, matte highlighters because I want to. I don't know this one. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one um, by MAC. And then how about we do. I'm going to pull in the shade. 202 from um, Georgia Cook. This is the Golden Galaxy. One in. We're going to do swatches. Um, what have we forgotten about? The House Labs, and this is in the shade Radiant. Sorry. Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter in the shade of And then lippies. Woohoo! We made it. All right, for lippies, I I don't know what to pull in. I have some gloss glosses treatment kind of thing. So let's keep that in mind. I think I'm gonna pull in one of the lip crayons in it. The one that I want is the shade. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, there. This one. This is by Freck, and this is the Blur Something Makeout Club, and this is in the shade Freck Rust. I feel like this is a must have for me. Let's do a liquid lip because I have some fall colors in liquid lips. Um, I think I'm going to do oh, this pretty much. the one from Can Make. Uh, it's a juicy tint. Um, the shade is 02. It's a really pretty fall color as well. So I'm going to pull this guy in. Let's see this guy from Pat McGrath. Um, this is in the shade Pitellica. Uh, not what I'm thinking. Not what I feel like I want to use. Maybe you do this one. This is by Ulta Beauty. Okay, let's try this guy. Let's pull this one in. Um, let's pull some glosses. All right, for glosses, I had decluttered, I had cleaned things out, and now it's a whole mess again. Um, let's pull in this guy. This is by NYX. This is Milky Gloss, and the shade is Chocolate Shake. Um, oh, 
do this guy from uh, Plump Your Pucker Lip Gloss. This is from The Balm. This is in the shade Exaggerate. gloss and this is in the shade a uh, bit of honey and, ooh, this, is one. And this one that's it this guy from uh, Bobby Brown and this is the crushed oil infused gloss and this is in the shade we'll do this one um, I have a treatment treatment I think we're okay. I think we have enough. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in the drawer and then we'll be back. In the Alrighty, you guys, I went ahead and put everything back in the drawer and wow, it is an overflowing drawer like always but it's making me happy so many new things to play for this time around kind of like i needed that um i'm gonna go ahead and get started like always primers foundations and all of that and then when we can we'll do swatches for primers i have two in here i have the laura mercier pure canvas primer hydrating remember really enjoying this one and i have the power grip primer plus four percent niacinamide from elf um, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to playing with these. I had narrowed down my primers quite a bit. Um, foundations, I have three. I have Shiseido Revital Lessons Skin Glow Foundation. This is in the shade 260 Cashmere. I have Clé de Peau in the shade 30 Medium Ochre. And the third one, I'm just going to keep it standing on my table um, because I'm so close to finishing in. I want to be able to get everything. So this is going to be done this time around, you guys. I I'm committed. And then we have a glowy product. This is from Dior. This is the Forever Glow Star Filter. And this is in the shade two. This is really pretty. It's a little bit worded oh, out more than I wanted. Oh well. Show you the glow, but man, that's like enough for my entire face. Ugh. Don't, don't, don't mind the mass amount over here. It's just like the part that's behind it. So pretty. It's a good shade for me right now. I have zero tan. So here is the glowy product. Uh, for concealers, I had three. I have the uh, Natasha Denona in the shade eight. And eight. I have Iris and Romeo. And I have Kofi Made Match these this year i really need to so that's what we have for concealers and whatnot for powders i have this massive baby this is from chanel this is the universal powder and the shade is 30. um it's a big one looking forward to playing with it my makeup still holding really well so we'll see i have huda beauty cherry blossom cake easy bake for a brightening powder another brightening one and this is from can make this is in the shade uh 02 it's like all these colors but hmm. could be tower 28 i don't want to buy it yet and then i have the laura mercier candle glow sheer perfecting powder in the shade one i use this as a finishing powder it has a really really pretty glow to it like radiance to it as the name suggests All right, now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, let's talk about the exciting things, bronzers, blushes, and all of that. We'll go ahead and get started with bronzer. Actually, before we start with bronzers, let's talk about the face palette I pulled in. I kind of pulled in two almost face palettes. Look about this one. This is the Becca Chrissy. Uh, palette and this was called the 
what is it called? Did it have a name? The Blow Face Palette? So it has two highlighters, a blush, and the bronzer. Let's go ahead and do some swatches. We'll start with the bronzer. Let's see if I can pick up. Yeah, I think we'll be able to swatch on here. Bronzer. They have names. We'll read the names. Blush. One. And... Feeling a little bit dry, could be that it's old as heck, but I'm gonna play with it and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I think about it. It's been a long time since I played with it, so I'm gonna do this one. The Westman Atelier Trio. We've got a uh, we have a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. We'll go ahead and swatch all three. I'm gonna swatch them on here. So this is the bronzer in the shade Biscuit, or this is the contour in the shade Biscuit. I still have a little bit of that Dior under here. Keep that in mind. Cooler tone, um, leaning a little neutral. And then we have the blush in the shade Nectar. Oh, sorry, this is the highlighter. Nectar. Very subtle. So pretty. And then the last product in the trio is the blush in the shade Petal. A cooler tone blush. This. A little bit on the neutral side. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and like blend these a little bit. Give you an idea. Because you're not going to use them like that on your face, right? You're going to blend them out. Pretty, really pretty. I need to play with it more. I haven't used it enough times to justify the price I paid for it. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Every time I look in here, it's like, whoa, so much stuff. Uh, let's move on to bronzers. Uh, I'm going to start with the Calorie Sun Drip. Uh, this is very light. It's not like super pigmented bronzer. It's more for natural days or like no makeup makeup days. It's it's nice. It blends and it gives a beautiful glow to the skin, like a healthy, um, hey, I was in the sun kind of glow. So pretty. It shears out more than this. Um, again, I keep pumping like I'm, like I'm doing makeup for 10 people. But yeah, so there's that one. Uh, I kept the bronzer from last time. This is the Hermes in the shade 03 Sahara. Really, really pretty bronzer. I just want to keep touching it. It's so smooth. And then we have the YSL All Hours Hyper Bronze in the shade 02. Very creamy. It's matte, but it's not like a flat matte. Huh? I'm swatching like crap again. Why? I don't know. Um, let's do the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Divine Bronze, and the shade is Bronze Dawn. This baby formula of these is so creamy, kind of like the uh, YSL one. A little bit drier than the YSL. There's that one. Maybe I should watch the YSL in the same spot. Because you can't see it on the back of my hand. Let's do this. More neutral. And then the last one is from uh, Too Faced, and this is the shade Sweetie Pie. Let me do this real quick. I don't know. That's a bronzer. Looks like a blush to me at the moment. 
Radiant Matte Bronzer. We'll have to see. Oh, I haven't played with it in so long. That's it for bronzers. All right, you ready for the blush madness? Because holy moly, I pulled in so many. Got creams, we got powders. Let's start with the let's do the creams. Uh Danessa Myricks, this is the yummy skin, and this is in the shade rose and brunch. I feel like this is beautiful for this time of the year. Like the be most beautiful color to start the fall with. Look at that. I love the formula of those blushes from uh, Danessa Myricks. So there's that one. Uh, let's do the Cali Ray Blurry Blush. And this is in the shade Dream State. Looks like it might be a little bright. I've heard good things about these, like how super blurring and all of that. Start feeling powdery from that. Okay. we'll see i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it on my hand and then i'm gonna touch it in a little bit see how it sets uh we have more creams and i'm gonna wait on the patrick top let's do the blush by uh, mac this is in the shade melba a neutral shade i think this will be appropriate for days when i go super crazy with my eye looks because i pull in some grungy palettes um, I pulled in Kosas Blushes Life in the shade is Hype. I enjoyed these a lot when I picked them up. And I just haven't played with them much more. And then we've got Tom Ford. This is in the shade Cherry Blaze. I'm going to swatch the two separately. Use them separately or later them. Now, let's go ahead and swatch the Patrick Ta blush, and I'm going to see if it compares to the uh, Makeup Forever um, blush. I believe the Makeup Forever is significantly cheaper than the one that Patrick Ta, um, the one by Patrick Ta. Before I do that, I want to feel this. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely dry and matte. It's, it's a little bit more um, creamy than the Cali Ray. All right, I'm going to clean my hand, and then let's swatch Patrick Ta. Look at that Cali Ray blush. Wow, man. I don't think it's going to budge off your skin. All right, so here's the one from Makeup Forever, and then here's Patrick Ta Barbie. The shade is, she's a Barbie doll. Oh, my God. How could I? How? How? Pink. Pink Barbie. It's so pretty the powder can i wear this i don't know did i really want to own it absolutely so here's the powder from patrick ta and then this is daring candy from makeup forever what do we think i think that they Maybe the one by Patrick does a little bit more blue undertone. A little tiny bit more. But man, these are close. All right, let's do the cream. I'm going to do the cream by itself. And then I'm going to put the cream on top of. So cream on top of powder, powder, cream from Patrick Ta, and this is the Makeup Forever Daring Candy. Um, what happens if I put the cream on top of this? It looks exactly the same. I think, it, I think they look very, very similar that if you have Daring Candy or if you can't get your hands on the Patrick Ta one, go for Makeup Forever. All right, now that we played with beautiful, stunning blushes, let's move on to highlighters. 
For highlighters, I pulled in a few. Let's do MAC Nuanced. This was a limited edition. It had like four of their highlighters, mineralized things. What are they called? Um, what is oh, Wow. Okay, Vanya. This is the mineralized skin finish. So yeah, this one combines four of them. I don't know exactly which four, but this is in the shade Milan. Really pretty, very subtle. We've got Bobbi Brown. I love this one. This is Golden Hour. I love this highlight. We've got um, Rose Quartz, Peach Quartz, right? Peach Quartz from House Labs. This is the one that's going to be more blinding but not too bad it's a pretty shade to it all of these are very subtle not blinding what i really like it's easy to use and then we have pat mcgrath this is in nude venus wait that was a blush oops not a highlighter oh my goodness silly Rania. well i guess we'll watch it <laughs> yeah excuse me i kind of messed up but it's all right right you forgive me you're not mad at me I'm just gonna uh the last highlighter is Pro, and this is in the shade golden galaxy one of these days i'll get rid of the packaging one of these days Lots and lots of beautiful things. All right, now that we went through all of the complexion products, let's start with the shadows. I'm gonna start with the single shadows and then we'll move on to palettes. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna pull this one out of the way. This is the Flower Skill to Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. Everything is gonna go back in the door. I just have it out of my way just to have some room. Uh, but let's start with these uh, shadow sticks from KVD. These are the Dazzle Sticks got the shade oh, i don't know got a purple one which is one the only one i've swatched and i was just amazed look at that that is gorgeous oh i cannot wait to use this all over my eyes uh we got the shade lash storm okay it's a little more taupey it has more base color but very pretty and then we have the shade what shade is this hail surge hail surge these are really pretty too i feel like the uh, purple one is just slightly different because it doesn't have a whole lot of base but it has a lot of more like copper kind of things oh wow that set incredibly fast oh that's already set wow so you gotta work fast but look at these shades. I'm looking forward. And then we have from uh, Kofi. This is the shade Sona Sona. I had my eyes on one more shade from them. Wow, that's so creamy. Incredibly creamy. But the shade Sona Sona, after watching Nikki LaRose and seeing it in store with my friend, and we had to have it. Look at that. Look at all the dimension. No chunky glitters. Just beautiful sparkle beautiful shade proper shade probably can use it all over the lid too it doesn't have to be just a proper shade all right let's do uh eyeshadow palettes are any of them two of them are brand new to me so we'll swatch all of those but the other three palettes they've been around for a little while we'll just do a couple swatches from them to kind of like keep this video maybe under an hour and a half um let's start with the nars climax eyeshadow palette i love this thing i thought i was gonna miss out on it um last year two years ago but i was able to snag it i'm gonna do just two swatches from here because you can't get your hands on this anymore and i just love these shades i think well i'm gonna do one more <gasps> yeah i had to tease you with these shimmer shades didn't i all right let's move on to other palettes <laughs> let's do the uh, gemini 2 by melt i have not swatched this one so here we are we're 
going to do it all. I think I'm going to use this one. Yeah, so I can fit them all. We've got Bella, Ladylike, Sweetheart. What's that? Gamil Gamillas? Jamillas? I don't know. Wow, so can you get four? Lovesick, Schmood, LX Queen, right? Math. I don't know what the names are referred to. If you know, let me know. Because that's catchy. Builds up pretty well, so no, not patchy. And then the last two shades, Boy Mom and Almond Dice. Oh, that's a beautiful fall palette. I cannot, cannot wait. So pretty. The formula is amazing too. Super creamy. Okay, so that's um, Gemini 2 by Melt. All right, let's move on to, let's move on to ABH. This is Fall Romance. I should take it out of the packaging because Oof, haven't used it. Can you believe it? Wait, I've swatched it. When did I swatch this thing? I don't know. It's swatched. Hmm. Rania, when did you swatch it? Remember, I don't know. Let's watch it again. Um, I'm going to do top and bottom right next to each other. So, top shade. Top shade. We've got Fireside, Crimson, Divine, and then the last four, we have Crown, Mulberry, Ember, and Twilight. Very subtle shimmer in this shade. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That is really pretty. A really pretty fall palette. I'm looking forward to playing with it. I like the variety of shades. I could use these two together. I could use these together, these together. I do like it. I'm excited to play for it. Oh, wait, I'm excited to play with it. All right, I'm gonna have to swatch on here because my arm is stained and I did not realize I have a big bruise. Uh, let's do the Sunset Palette from Natasha Denona. <laughs> Natasha Denona. Let's do a couple of these shades. A couple swatches. So much. Very fall sunset shade. Oof. A couple more. Because well, why not? Wait, I already did that shade, right? Did I? <laughs> Don't know. I'll find out when I'm editing my video. Oh, no, I did not. Oh, looking forward to it. Uh, I'm eyeing the gold palette, her new gold palette and her warm palette, but I'm going to hold off. I haven't been really... I don't know. I haven't been excited about too many eyeshadow palette releases lately. Um, I feel like I have a really good variety should play with before buying new stuff and then the last palette is the dominique cosmetics um essential palette i really enjoy this one really really do um let's do the shimmers it's 
absolutely like the essential news, you know? Well, I'm going to skip that one too. Very well coordinated shades in here too. So you're not like wasting space and putting stuff that people don't need. Very well thought out. Beautiful for every day. Essential. Okay. Uh, the only thing remaining are the lippies. So let's go ahead and go through these real quick. And then hopefully make it pick up my child on time. Alrighty. For lip products, uh, we have the Summer Friday. This is in the shade Iced Coffee. This came in the Sephora Favorites kit. One of them. Oh, not a whole lot of color. Okay. Mmm, smells and tastes good. So there's Summer Fridays. Let's do Tower 28. This is in the shade Fire. Orangey shade for fall. We have Freck. This is in the shade Rust. Freck Rust. Again, I feel like this is a beautiful shade. I'm going to need the Essentials palette for these, <laughs> for some of these lippies. We've got from Can Make, this is the Juicy Lip Tint. Do you see what's on my mind? Fall, fall leaves. Uh, we have Exaggerate from The Balm. Hey, you changed it up a bit. It's a slightly different undertone. Well, a lot different undertone. <laughs> Uh, we've got the uh, Crushed Lip Oil from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Sweet Spirit. We've got NYX. Uh, this is Milky Gloss in this shade Chocolate Shake. Undertone. We've got um, from Ulta Beauty. This is in the shade um secret passage lipstick is what it says on there i don't know what the shade is what the shade name is okay that's a cooler kind of like um hmm, i was gonna say cool undertone kind of like the uh nyx gloss but no it's different they probably would look really good together uh, we've got Kiko Milano. This is in the shade 32. I did purchase four more of these, you guys. I have not hauled them yet. So, showed them to you. And then we've got the uh, NYX uh, Butter Gloss in the shade Bit of Honey. I remember really enjoying this one. It's been a while. Really pretty. And then we've got Pura Pura. This is in the shade 12. I cannot stop with these lippies, the Pura Pura. Same as the Kofi. Like if you want a similar, get Pura Pura. And then we have these two. Oh, I just realized I did not pull in any lip liners. I guess I just have to pull them in when I need them. And then we've got Persona Day Mask. This is in the shade June. Ooh, that's a pretty pretty shade and then lastly we have the patrick ta barbie this is in the shade malibu dream house not a whole lot of color to it got a pink tint and it's a gorgeous packaging and that's it <laughs> that's everything for this time you guys it's a lot of products you made it all the way to the end. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.